Matter of fact, we're gonna do it right here. We even gotta move uh, oh, Spider, right? Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's my uh, alias. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. That's how that's how we need to know. We'll need to know your real name. Yeah, I, I've been out on this uh, little channel before, you know, trying to get. Yeah, my channel ain't little, bro. Let me. Yeah, you you got real big. Yeah, yeah. my shit growing. My shit growing there, man. I seen where it's hitting at. Yeah, you know? my, and that's a good thing because awareness for people that are, are out there lost and ain't got nobody to help pick them back up, you know. And I think being homeless myself, I think God put me in that predicament so I could be available to help pick these people up. So you're a vessel. I'm a vessel. I, yeah, I'm in God's hand. So I'm helping people. When I see my sisters or my brothers nodding out on that stupid stuff, mm -hmm. you know, and I know where it comes from. It comes from hell. Right. I try to be that one that sticks by them even though I got shit to do. Right. So make sure that they don't pass out and die and not wake up. Right. You know hey, Spider, let me let, uh, real quick, for the people that don't remember you, yeah. if y'all don't remember Spider, then uh, I'm going to link his video to the uh, to the end of this video. I ain't seen Spider since I, my my second week doing these videos. Yeah. And I was over there in Tent City, and Spider had, he was security, had a shirt off, he had a machete on him, he was I showing me the tree houses. Let me see it pull it out. Let me see it. I got an upgrade, bro. Let me see it. This is the razor. I gotta be careful. Yeah, I remember him now. He did the same thing on the other video, but he wasn't on crutches. I gotta take take it out very carefully because okay. I babied it with oil. Oh, you babied with oil? This you, you, so you still you still a secure? Yeah, sort of, kind of, um, not like in any tent city in general because yeah. they busted the tent cities up. You know, mm -hmm. told everybody they had to leave from this place and that place. But if I see one of my sisters or brothers out need there your and they need my help, yeah, I'm going to take whatever time it takes to help them. Right. Even if I got to hang around them and I know some sneaky, slimy shit's going to go down and they're going to, like, so somebody going to try to hurt them or something, I got to be the one to stick by them, you know, yeah, and that's be right. like, hey. Man, Spider Man, I, I seen you, man, about a month ago. And I, I, was, I, was, I was already into something, so I couldn't stop. But I see you at McDonald's up there, on, 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 up there. It's all good, brother. And I, I said, damn, that, look, that dude look familiar, but I ain't recognize you because you got your hair all braided yeah. up. I got my dread my and hair then, out. And then you got crutches. Yeah. I, 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 I said, damn. Then I asked him, I said, man, what's that dude name? They're like, Spider. I like, man, I did a video with Spider when I first started the channel. He was showing me the tree houses and stuff up in the tent city. All that burned down. Yeah, y'all know what happened. Uh, Teardrop told me everything. Yeah, people are crazy to the point to where uh, they can't take being out here, you know, after so long. They get so distressed and in despair that they don't know how to handle that. And uh, they do crazy things that people don't understand, like burn their house down that yeah. they built. Yeah, tree house. Front, front. It was yeah. a nice tree house, too. Yeah, I was had, in that, was, that, was, that was the upstairs one. Yes, sir. Yep. And and to, for him to do that and and have that mentality to where it pushed him to do that, he had been going through something because all this stuff where they're trying to push us out, you know. Right. Everywhere the homeless goes, we get driven away. There's nowhere that we can really stay anymore, you know. Everywhere you go, someone's got it locked down. There's someone staying there already because everybody's done clean their spots, mm -hmm. you know, a long time ago. Now there's nothing, so if you ain't got nowhere to go, and you ain't got no tent city, brother, then you're in trouble, you gotta wander. And the wandering ain't no fun neither, bro, because to wander, you gotta stay up all day and all night just wandering, staying up, just moving around, keeping it moving, because the cops will stop you, and they'll screw with you if they see you just sitting around like at the bus stop. So you gotta keep it moving. Yeah, late at night, you can't to, sit to avoid, get a, a lot, to avoid getting a lottery, lottery charge. I have a good friend of mine in Florida where I'm from in Jacksonville, and he's homeless, and, and I hate it for him. He uh -huh. got so screwed up by the laws that they got there, because in Florida, you're not allowed to loiter at a bus stop. Like, you can't sit there longer than it, it takes to get on the bus. Right. You know, and uh, they'll come and mess with you. And it, he messed his, it messed his mind up so bad to where he keeps it moving all the time to where his feet turn blue. You know, and he got to where he don't even wear shoes anymore. His shoes are half off, like on the front, so you see his toes. Mm -hmm. It looks terrible. But you know, it's from him having to stay up like all the time, right. standing. He's like, yeah. that's what cows do, bro. You know, we're not meant to stand that long period of time. No, but we, but we, but we, but we meant to uh, get get employment. 
and get sobriety yeah. and, and, and be able to rent and afford a house. I'm in here and, right and, now. I know you're over here. That's why I'm over here. See, yeah. I've been moving and I see you got, I see got, I see got them little together. motel room. That's good, though. I'm glad to see you get a motel room. Yeah. Now, man, that way you can at least God, sleep in peace and get you a good shower and things like that. God blesses those who try, who believe in Him and who get up off their ass and try. You can be homeless, but. To be homeless and lazy, no, that's a problem. No, that's right. You know, and there is, I've seen them. There's people out here that's messed up on that shit, but they can function to the point to where they can at least go out and make money, you know? Right. But there's also people out here that just gave up. Right. And that's why you see them doing crazy stuff you can't explain, like digging food out of the garbage, you know, and eating it. They're not doing it to get attention or try to get you to feel sorry for them. They're doing it because they gave up and they don't care anymore. If they're hungry and they see a half-eaten burger in the trash, they're gonna get it because they just don't care about life anymore. They don't care if they get a disease, you know? If they see a half cigarette on the ground to pick it up, they don't care if it was a guy that had AIDS or was smoking it before them. They don't think about stuff like that because they just gave up. Right. You know, don't give up is what I tell everybody that's out here. Keep. Keep trucking, keep it moving, man. We were meant to be soldiers. And when the shit is a fan in America, and it's coming soon, it will. We're the ones that all the people out here that had it like that are going to run to and say, hey, help me. Right. Show me how to do this. Show me how to survive out here. Show yeah. me how to do this. My, my children are starving. They ain't ate in three days. You got to help me. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to say, come on in. I'm going to get you a spot. And I'm going to make them something to eat. But I'm gonna preach to them too. I'm gonna tell them, I'm gonna say, you know, all that time you was out there, you had the chance to help people, you know, and you didn't. Uh, now, how do you feel about being helped? Does it make you feel weird? Because uh, uh, that's where the Bible says that we heap coals upon their lap and over their head. Right. You know, when you do good to somebody who's done wrong to you, it, it flabbergasts them, you know? But it can also change their way of thinking, you know, in their that's heart. Right. So I say, too, to the rich communities in the upper class, please don't take us for granted because some of us still care. And, you know, like me, I was out here, he knows, I was in the woods, you know, but I was trying to keep law and order in the woods and make sure everybody didn't kill themselves, you know, and make sure my family was safe, that, you know, congregated out there. Um, I did the right thing. And I do believe God's blessed me very highly because of that reason. And as long as we keep obeying and doing what's right and keep pushing and trying, you're going to get it eventually. You're going to run into the right person sooner or later that knows people in high places. And boop, like me, look at here. I'm in an apartment. It's like an apartment, dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I got a kitchenette. I got a big old bed. I got a nice shower. You know what I mean? Man, it's nice, man. This is, man, I'd rather be here and over there at that nice hotel. It's just the same, I bet. If you go from this one to that one, I bet you a hundred bucks almost. It, it would be the same, it look almost right. identical. Right, the other motel don't got the kitchenette, like you said. Man, hey, so let me ask you something. Way higher price, too. Let me ask you something. Yes, sir. That's my senior man. You, you had a little limp. But you were walking good, man. I and have now, a you, now, now you've been on these crutches for months. What's going on? Are I have you on the crutches? Vascular necrosis in my right leg, and it's due to years in the past. I drank a lot of heavy liquor, you know. Yeah. I, I had a connection from West Virginia that my buddy was getting moonshine from. Mm -hmm. But little did I know, the moonshine was being cooked in car radiators. <laughs> you know, the front where the steam. Yeah. I know the radio here. The copper in it, yeah, they're cooking it in that, and I almost went blind. I, <sighs> I couldn't see for three days. It's scary. And man, I'm telling you, when I finally got my vision back, I said, I gotta get off this stuff. And then when I got off of it, it, it wasn't it was no time at all. After I quit it, about maybe a month or two, my legs started hurting all of a sudden. Like I had real serious bouts where I couldn't walk, mm -hmm. you know? And I didn't understand what was going on. And I kept going to the hospital and there was like, oh, it's just sciatic pinch nerve pain, you know. And, but there was a doctor and lo and behold, thank God for it. And I give him the glory. He gave me a doctor that found out what was really going on and was educated. Right. And he said, sir, you got a vascular necrosis in your right leg and it's going to deteriorate your bone. And so my bone's like a sponge over here now. If I move, sometimes if it's real quiet in the room, you can hear my hip bone pop. Hey. 
you know, it's like, it's weird. And it's what's doing is it's chipping my bone a little bit more each time. But you know something though? I still get up and move and get what I need done. I don't let that stop me. Hey, hey, I hate to stop you. Do, can you do me a favor and cut that radio off? Oh, is, oh, I don't, yeah, because I, I ain't got the copyright to it. I, so I, I don't know if I can. You can do it or not. I really don't know. I just don't want to take no chance. I really didn't uh, even. They, you, you two, you two, you two be weird sometimes. They, yeah, I feel you. They, 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 they change. They change. They change the rules every day. Uh, for anybody listening to this or was listening to it, I will not give you the name of the artist. But yeah, they yeah. got they got AI for stuff like that. AI pick it up. He is that. He he's that 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 fire. He's that fire. Yeah. Okay. Hey, listen. So go ahead back talk, go ahead and yeah. talk about what you were talking about. Okay. Well, and see, um, a series of things that I had went through, you know, um, like uh, recently, um, just something that just happened to me. You know, these things bring us closer to, to God and show us that he's watching over us because supernatural things happen if you obey. And I was uh, ransacked and my tent got raided. Uh, here recently about a month ago and I thought that I was uh, about to get murdered and mm. what it was really I had I did something really stupid the cops came in our camp and I had a big gigantic ball of ice and it was that space stuff you know and I didn't think about it I just threw it in my thrust lay chase toast crunch and stirred it around and I took a bite and it was the whole ball on the spoon and I bit into it, and it was the nastiest crap I ever tasted, but I hallucinated for a month straight. Mm. I saw my best friends I call family, they're like trying to kill me, trying to hit me with a steak knife and back, back up, and like, I really thought I was seeing this for real, you know? Mm -hmm. and like, I couldn't understand how a person could uh, see something like that, like a hallucination, you'd think, you know you're hallucinating, you know? Like, that's why people take mushrooms and stuff you know because they want to hallucinate you know like oh yeah i'm tripping you know you're tripping you know but when you don't know that you're tripping you know it, that's scary because what if it is real you know if i go back and try to find out and get closure what if they kill me and finish what they started right. and it scared the crap out of me man i went through hospitals after hospitals but i got a little uh thing with the, the courts where they want me and, and I'm looking at five years but see this is the thing and when the cops put me in their cars like I went through a dozen cop cars and I went through about a dozen hospitals here in High Point because they're trying to find a place to put me because right. I went nuts and I went nuts because all my stuff got raided and that really happened because you know, I'm not going to just say, oh, no, they, they did this or that. I'm going to go come back and find out, you know, mm -hmm. even if my life is in danger. That's just what I do. That's how you have to do it out here. You know, you don't give up. you got to you got to do what you got to do. So I went back, and lo and behold, everything that I had been saying uh, was true. The tent had holes in it where the, the butcher knife came through at my forehead to wake right. me up. Mm -hmm. It wasn't a, it wasn't a rooster pecking my forehead, right. <laughs> you know. But uh, I tell you one thing, uh, I learned a lesson from it. Don't yeah, trust right. everybody and don't let everybody be your family. People are gonna say I'm your family. Right. I'm your, I'm your man. I'm your bro. I'm your I'm your I'm your dog, bro. You no, know, well, you're my dog. Okay, then if you're my dog, then you're willing to take this Glock and go out there and shoot that dude over there and come back and hand it to me and say. Uh, I, I did that for you, bro, you know, out of love. Like, that, that's like psychotic, but that's like real, you know what I'm saying? And no one's going to do that, you know? I don't blame them. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's I ain't sure. A, that's I won't shoot. I, ain't I, I wish shoot nobody from my, my family, all my, my friends. That's, that's a figure. But anyway, let me ask you something. Me ask, no, yeah, I ain't shooting nobody from nobody. Me, let, me, 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 let me ask you something. Um, you got a mental issue? You got, uh, have, you got a disability? Your, your leg and stuff messed up? Have you ever thought about getting disability, man? Because disability can, can keep you in the motel where you ain't got to be out in the street. I'm working on that right now, too. Um, my food stamps, I'm trying to get that clicked on. I was off the grid for a while, you know? Yeah. I've been out here a year, man. God's blessed me with his hedge of protection. You know, in the Bible, it says he'll hide you in the shadow of his wings. If you're uh, deserving of it, he will, you know, because he has. 
Uh, these things I can't he sit here and explain to you with logic uh, how it happened, <laughs> you know, because I can't. But it happened the way it did, and, and I know it was from somewhere else, you know. Right. And I uh, say to everybody watching, uh, I'm, I'm not a holy roller, I'm not a preacher, I'm not trying to throw anything at you as far as gossip, but I say this, God is real. Right. And sooner so, or later we all find out. Yeah. So basically, I heard you talking about... Um, the damage the consequences of, 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 of lifestyle. You're talking about your friends and fake friends, but I ain't hear you. I ain't hear you speak on on the ice situation because that's really what what what, what was the foundation and the root to all all that. So my thing, my question is, so how is your addiction now? My addiction is very very little. Uh, every now and then, like when I got back, I had hit the roller bowl twice, and then right. I, after I did it and felt it, I said. What happened was I, I got a trigger in my head that said, you don't want to go through that again. Right. What, what, what's going on, you know? You had Good morning, y'all. Hey, how you doing? Hey, honey. I said, you had, you had to go through a whole month of misery and not knowing if it was so or not. You want to really go through that again, maybe permanently end up like that? And, and it talks me into putting it back down, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, but before, I just had to roll that sucker until it's, good, it's gone, you know? And, and that's not healthy. I say that dosing uh, a certain drug is proper for the fact is it really can hurt you if you do too much of something. Yeah, that's anything. I can take too much ibuprofen and end up screwing my guts up. That's know? right. But um, you got to do things responsibly. If you can't handle it responsibly, you shouldn't do it. And that's where I had to slow my roll. And that's what got me here because a lot of people saw I really was trying. I went a whole month without it. I said, I'm going to prove to y'all that I can do it. Right. And I did it. I relapsed because I ran into some friends and I wanted to hit it. But I haven't done any more since. That's good. Yep. Be, and because now, you, now, now you're not proving, trying to prove that to them, you're proving it to yourself. Right. And that's the most important thing. Like, you, you can't, I don't live my life trying to prove nothing to nobody. Right. I, I think I, I need to work on myself and prove things to myself. Yep. And, yep. I, and, I, and I, I might have a reason that I do it and motivation. Like, my kid is my motivation for everything I do. That is the but one you know, key thing. Right. I but I, but, I'm, but my kid don't ask me to prove nothing to him. Yeah. I do it for me. You do, yeah. And and my my, 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 my son is it's the gas and the fruit behind it. He is the motivation. That's, there you go. Yes, sir. That's right. I oh. have four kids myself. My oldest daughter, I keep in touch with her a lot. She's 20 years old now. But I spent Christmas with her this past Christmas, and it was like the first Christmas and since she was seven. Right. You know, and <clears throat> it was the best Christmas ever. I used to hate Christmas. You know, I didn't hate it because of, you know, gift giving and all that. I hated it because I felt like I was robbed of the one thing that I loved. And what was that? My, my, my children. They got right. taken early. Okay, yeah. Little. I remember I remember you told me that they was at the grandma's house and mm -hmm. with the wood stove. That damn wood stove. That wood yeah. stove, that's right. See, I remember, Spider. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You, you're yeah. very in intelligent. Yeah, I, I keep up. I'm, I, when, I, when, when I talk to y'all, I listen. you cool, though, man. You know, you, what you're doing is a good thing, really. You know. Yeah, I ain't no little man, though. No, you're, no, not. you're, <laughs> not. you're not. You're cool, little man. You know, yeah. you're inspiring me to want to do something like that, too. Maybe start my own channel. I just don't know how, but if I did it, I would have my own, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't, like, try to get involved with anybody else. You know what I'm saying? There's a rule about cutting throats on people. You right. don't get your business where it's involved and take it into other people's, uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, if people are trying to compete, that's wrong. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Entrepreneurship in a business and trying to do anything, even to make people aware of things that uh, they don't get to see. Mm -hmm. um, these are things that are responsibilities, and when we're giving them and we do the right thing with them, God will bless us. That's right. You know, and He's blessing you because you're doing the right thing. That's right. Know? Yeah, God. Uh, yeah, I, I don't got no complaints, man. God. He, he rocking with me, man. Yeah, and, man. And, and, and the thing, and the, and, the key, and the key is, I know he rocking with me, yes, and I respect sir. it. See, a lot of times when God rocking with people, they know that God is with them, rocking mm -hmm. with them. Good things are happening yeah. because of God. And they still take it for granted. They still turn their back and don't try to do the right thing. They, they like, it's the you know, son. And, and, and be gone. So yes. I'm trying to keep my blessings coming. That's it. And you yep. know, the ones that are supernaturally looked out for in ways I can't explain, they're actually one of the chosen ones of the 144,000. There's a, the 144,000 tribes of Israel 
that got scattered all over the earth after Jesus died. Mm -hmm. You know, and we're, we're part of one of those tribes. We don't know which one. Our bloodlines got mingled, you know, over the centuries, but we are all. Mm -hmm. yeah, it, it shines. You get a glow about yourself, you know? Right. Yeah, uh, my camera went dead, so I'm going I'm to I'm finish the interview on my, on my phone. But you were talking about the tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel. I thought there were 140 something. Earth. They're here now, 144,000. Right. There's only 144,000 people, believe it or not, and people would really throw a book at me for this, even a rock maybe. There's only 144,000 that's going to heaven. Oh, okay. Because uh, not everybody's going. If you're not sealed by God and have that seal that says that you're one of the bought and paid for from Jesus when he bled over the mercy seat, which was the Ark of the Covenant right underneath him. Right. Uh, he bled over the cherubims in between the mercy seat, and it caused the covenant to take place. So now Jesus got the keys of death. So uh, he rules the roost. And if you believe in him and accept him, that makes God happy that you accept his son. And therefore, you go to heaven. Right. Sealed, you're bought and paid for. You ain't got much you can do to not go to heaven. Right. You're going to be surprised how many people going to be in heaven that you didn't expect. That's right. But God is good. Keep trying. Focus. Do what you got to do to get out of the mud and get it done. Man, that's, that's an advice, man. That looks, and that's a good sermon, man. I appreciate, I, I appreciate your time. I, I got a donation it. for you. God bless you, bro. Thank you. It's Spider, y'all. I'm about to link his videos on at the end of this.